Okay, so you may be thinking about this whole world of wholesaling, and maybe you've gone down the route of trying to find uh, distressed properties or folks who are in distress so that you can help them serve them and hopefully in return get a property at a discounted price. Usually you're trading speed and convenience and solving problems and solving pain and uh, so that you can earn that discounted price on the property. And probate is a great niche to, to, find, uh, to go through because I found that a lot of people are unaware or maybe their first time going through probate, hopefully their last time going through probate, and it can be challenging. It's expensive, it's public, and it usually takes a very long time. Courtney Rollins, probate expert in North Carolina. And when I say expert, that means that I'm dedicated to learning. That doesn't mean I know everything. I'm not an attorney, I'm not a financial advisor, nor am I giving any of that type of legal or financial advice. I am sharing my experience and hopefully it can be helpful to you. So if you're a practitioner out there and you're thinking about wholesaling uh, probate property, here are five things to consider. Let's jump right into it. All right. So number one, understand the probate process. You should be dedicated to learning as much as you can about the probate process. You don't need to be an attorney, but you may actually start feeling like one once you dig deeper. The more you know, the more knowledge you know, and the more knowledge you can apply, and the more knowledge that you can apply to people's situations, the better, more value you'll be, and the more service you'll provide, and you have to be compensated for that. That's just the law of nature. So understand the probate process in your state. There are some awesome uh, coaching programs out there. Chad Corbett's Probate Mastery is probably the best one out there. All the leads is an amazing program as well. There's tons of folks who can share. Um, uh, yeah, so reach out to them. If you want to sit down with me and we can talk about the journey, uh, you can jump on my Calendly and I would love to share my process and even maybe learn from you. I'm sure we could learn from each other. All right, number two, build relationships with estate professionals, whether that's attorneys, whether that's uh, people who help folks move things out, whether it's estate, um, uh, I guess uh, people who like do auctions for estates, find those folks, fellow other real estate investors who, who focus on that, realtors who focus on probate, find them, seek them out, build relationships, add value to them and see how you can support them and they definitely will be able to support you. Number three, learn the whole the, the probate or the wholesale process. So constantly work on understanding how to wholesale and what are the specifics to wholesaling when it comes to probate in your state or your area. So that's super important. Hopefully you already know the uh, basics of wholesaling. It's very simple, to be quite honest. It's not a it's, it's not rocket science. It can be challenging and it can be difficult, just like loops. Losing weight can be challenging and difficult, but it's a simple process. You eat less and work out, you know, uh, find discounted properties and then assign them to an investor or keep it for yourself. It's just a disposition strategy. So sourcing deals is an amazing tool to have and continue to constantly work on that. Number four, go ahead and select the marketing strategy that you're going to use. You know, there's a lot of ways. I love going to the actual direct to the estate office in Durham County, North Carolina. The size of Durham County is that mid-size, it still has that townish feel and I can walk in and feel like Norm from Cheers, hey Norm, and uh, be able to connect with the awesome deputy uh, clerks there and the assistant clerks there and get a lot of information that helps me find folks to work with. But there's other ways, there's uh, direct, you can mail, you can cold call, you can just rely on focusing on attorneys or other realtors to find um, resources. But I definitely suggest you pick at least pick one for the time being, focus on it, master it, nail it, and then you can move on and expand. But selecting your marketing strategy, and for that matter, your market is very important. I would also recommend you do pick one market. You will find that you'll get other uh, opportunities in other spaces because people may start seeing you as an expert and Although probate is specific to states, there are a lot of things that overlap. So you'll be a resource for a lot of folks. And you're constantly working on your sales and communication skills, which means you're working on your active listening skills, working on being empathetic, working on being able to find and identify the pain and even helping your prospect understand and recognize the pain they're in and seeing how your you may have solutions to that. That's a constant thing to work on, like Kobe in the gym, that Mamba mentality treat your craft seriously and it will serve you so constantly work on yourselves and negotiation skills will help you because at the end of the day you are serving you're helping and you need to be able to match ser skills services that you have to the folks specific need and that requires some big ears and a big heart all right 
So that's uh, my five tips right there. Hey, just hit that QR code if you want to set up a free time for us to talk. I would love to see how I can help you on your journey, how we can help each other. Uh, do already ideals. That's my my I guess coaching brand. I don't necessarily promote or push my coaching courses as much, um, but I definitely love helping folks out and would help love to be a part of your journey. So this is the Life in Transitions Experts podcast. Quick and simple here. Let your light shine. Cheers.